I'm Miriam and my awesome husband here at Friedemann. We are farming up on the side of Mount Porongia and it's just the best place to be. We've been here now for five years into our sixth season. When we came here, we had a lot of old pastures, a lot of fork rice, old nui. This farm was a sheep and beef farm 25 years ago. So a lot of the old pasture was still in place. Pasture re renovation wasn't on the high priority list. We talked to our TSR. We came up with a plan of renewing pasture, putting some annuals in, some, some Italian rye grasses, and which boosted their growth. And so that was the major thing, is just starting a program where we turn over the whole farm gradually and we're trying to do 10% a year of pasture renewal, being in, in summer crop or grass to grass. Yeah, we love John, John a lot. He comes up for crop checks, grass checks. He just monitors everything, gives his recommendation, and he's always bang on. We started first season, 320 solids. Next season was 330, which is average for up here. Last year, or the year before the 80-19 season, we've done 380, and this year we've done 480. The big jump in our production last year was, was to do with, for the first time on this farm, we were able to feed the cows to their full potential. We did analyzing feed, grass, we knew the gaps, we know what's there, we know what the cows needed at certain time of the year. You know, we, you see the production, what they're doing, you know what's in the grass, and you know, okay, there's X amount in the grass, the cows need X amount, how do we fill that gap? TSR came to me and says, look, I got some interesting products out there, do you want to try them out? I said, oh, heck yeah. Yeah, we'll try them out. We'll try out the um, Refno, which is a reddish kale cross type of plant. Multi-grazing has a protein of 26%, ME of 13, and that's exactly what the cows, what we need over those summer months. Tierra Moa is the highest rain, rainfall area in the Waikato. So we, we created a system that just fits for here especially for our soil type, the moral ash and the weather conditions. Not every grass that grows well in the bottom of the hill is it's growing well up here. There might be a, an opinion out there or a farm consultant that works here and there and everywhere, but the TSR rep from this region knows it, I think, the best. So I put a lot of value into, into that, that opinion. Where we are now had five backbreaking years with getting the farm from where it was to where it is right now. And now we're farming on a farm that's turned around and it's just phenomenal, really love it. I don't think we would have gotten there as fast as we have been without Jano's input. Um, you always can find, you can do your own research online, you can go to your um, other farm advisors, but I think having, having the farm soft tiers are there that does all that job for you anyway, it would be stupid not to use them. I would absolutely recommend a lot of people just go out there, talk to the TSRs. We've done 50,000 solids more last year than the season before. That's all I can say.